Uh, but we've got other uh -oh. we've got other games to go through. Have we got beaten Uncle. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, Let's see how we unfold. Oh yeah, Pekka did beat Noku. What the heck? Yeah. Anyway, bracket is actually point bracket. We still got winners to get through before we dip down into loser's side. And I mean, what's there more to say about this matchup? Like, I think it's been played out uh, more than like two dozen, three dozen times. Definitely has to be. <laughs> this is like the second coming of like Cindy numbers. Anything, anybody numbers, because numbers. <laughs> Local hunter. He if there's a local really in his area, he is there. Yeah, man's be playing at Waypoint, uh, playing at Brookland, playing at Zeno every week. I this man it. went to popping off. It, it came back, yeah, and oh. he knew. <laughs> Still, I do know that Dill uh, earlier when I was talking to her, she said her head wasn't quite in the right space to play against numbers. Yeah. Which is, you do have to be in a very particular headspace in order to play against. Uh, Numbers is bag of tricks yeah. and uh, tempo that they play at. Because yeah. if there's anything that Numbers is really good at, it's controlling pacing. No, I totally agree. I played Numbers earlier today and definitely was not in the right mindset. <laughs> <laughs> like it takes it takes a mo a couple like it takes some preparation. Yeah. And it takes some build up. Meanwhile, Numbers does this without even flinching, and you can yeah. see the, the amount of damage they were put on. The, the mix-ups to the layering that they're prepping for already. Reverse jab into dash attack, sure. <laughs> like, just using Wii Fit's full variability, even if it's not always optimal damage, it's optimal for what John is aiming to do. And that game plan is so hard to break through sometimes. Yeah, oh, make, just barely making it back. And it's so great for John, because I'm seeing him today, and there's a lot of new tricks in the bag. So even if... Dill was like mentally prepared. There's just a lot more mix-ups coming from John, and like different options just in like scenarios that you would see like all the time. Right. Did, did they bounce ball off Gyro? Yeah, <laughs> that I, was I so, think so cheeky. <laughs> hey, and not losing the stock for after the grab. I'm surprised we didn't see the up throw. Whether it would not be a good mash or just poor spacing. Yeah, uh, maybe a bit of both. Could be a bit of both, but either way, you're going to eat that dash attack. Uh, Dill and many Rob players uh, always frequently try to come back on, even after grabbing ledge with something like a forward air, yeah. something like a laser or a gyro. Yeah. Powering right through that with a deep breathing dash attack. Finally, the stock being dropped with an up throw on this small plat on the small battlefield platform. Yeah. But the hole has been dug. No, it definitely has been dug. Oh, it's a two, well, once, once a two stock lead, now just a stock lead. Deep breathing on deck, and but the ledge trap right here. If... Dill can get something without maximum percent done, which is basically stock loss. Oh, it could be a good reversal right here. 88%, 890. I like that John intentionally recovered on stage, though, for that down air. Like, expecting, I know you're going to do it, so I'm just going to take, I'm going to eat a ton of damage because I took the risk, but hey, I won't drop the stock for it. And at 98, with the potential to heal, smile, 2% at a time, yeah. it can matter. Oh, that was so single hit oh. neutral air. Now that time it's a double hit into the back air. And just, even without yeah. deep breathing, the damage can just rack up so quickly. Oh, yeah, 72% done. Now 83. That's okay, yeah. Bristling right there. But that's, you see John ready going for kills. That is kill for percent for Weefit. And now the sharking has begun. Yeah. Oh, not even flinching. Just calling out that Dill wouldn't commit to the forward air there yeah. after the sun salutation into the run under reverse F tilt as well. It's just the little things for John to maximize yeah. the control of the game, winning the positional battle. So all it takes is one misspacing. You're doing Nair too close to the floor. Hold this up air, game one in the books. Yeah, and that's just a kudos to like how much they play. You see for like sure. the not, not flinching in certain spots. Like, no, I know you're not gonna do this. I've played you 3000 times and catching the drift right there. Just knowing, already going to be there and ending the stock. There's like some cadences of when you play a player so much. All right, maybe we can get to the point. I want to see it. Yeah. He does, so in this position, he does raw up air. Yeah. So, because the drift, oh no, he just turns around. But yeah. still, doing it, doing up air backwards not only hits the position John wanted to be in, yeah. it also catches hold in as well. Yeah. Just covering those options and running a straight back to small battlefield to do it. Uh, I don't disagree with the pick here. I just feel like John 
this is the stage John wants to play. It's his yeah. favorite stage in the game. He's John talks about this stage a lot. He says this is the most neutral stage there is. And if a person is hyping up a stage, in my opinion, they, they're probably really good on there. Yeah, they're probably like very comfortable in that environment, but so can still be that gyro was almost resulting in the stock, and I love it. Yeah. Love the patience and rewarded for it. Dill off to an early lead. Yeah, Ooh. just the ability to hang out there with, Jar with Rob and just stall and just wait for John to make a move and just take the stock so cleanly. And now, the first time this set so far, Dill has a lead. Yeah, and so. it's an important one as well. Given how game two was, despite the the timer not showing it, it did feel like a slow burn, as do most games with numbers. So being able to cement that lead and saying, hey, I'm going to be in control of this game now. You've got to be uncomfortable. You've got to approach me. You're the one. I'm the one asking the questions now. It puts John into a different position. Yeah. Not one that he's incapable of coming back from, especially little strings like that. That yeah. was really cute. But it is a little bit of a it's a, it's a vibe check. Yeah, it definitely. And Dill just the ability to just hold on to the stock right now and do a 101 percent just like our Dalmatians, man. It's <laughs> true, yeah. She even got the white ROM. Yeah. Like, shout out to that movie. <laughs> Pretty old movie. <laughs> how, uh, how to how to date yourself real yeah. quick. Like <laughs> oh man, that movie is old shit. Oh, yeah, no. bro. No. Wait, oh, I wasn't no. even thinking about it. Come oh. on. <laughs> I mean, they've probably done remakes, right? Hey, there's they, a, they, there's there's a maybe Paul DeVille remake. It's terrible. But, okay. I, I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, we're only yeah. talking about whatever came out in 2000, like 20, uh, whatever, uh, right? Uh, right, uh, guys? Uh, not the remake. Uh, right, uh, fellow kids? Uh, no. no, bad hey, or good. Look. Bad or good. That's the only one we're talking about. Not yeah. the one that was like 19, whatever. Yeah, what? Yeah, huh? What? Uh, is that John Numbers <laughs> is that versus John? Dill? Uh, finally taking yeah. that stock. I do like the full hop, fast fall three platform with the late up air because like yeah. anything takes a stock there. Yeah, uh, it, it was, but it definitely felt like a desperation. That's like something did. you just pull like deep in the bag. It's like, like I just I need this now. I'm just gonna start swinging my moves that I know will take the stock here, which at 170 was just about anything. Yeah, and now if you're John, do you just like stick to your game and try to get like more data? Or do you just try to bring this game back? I think with deep breathing, Wii Fit has the chance to close out uh, close out Sox dummy early. I mean, look at 77 already on the board. And what makes you so good at the game as speaking as John Numbers, as a surrogate for the man himself, yeah. is that you do stick to your game plan. You're unflinching and unwavering in that commitment because that commitment is what makes people sweat. Yeah, true. Unfortunately, Dill, Ooh. Feel, it feels like Dill's got a little bit of a read on it, a little bit of a download yeah. on what numbers it's, wants It seems to. like she knows the playbook. Yeah. She, she's literally went to the other teams like, yo, I'm writing it for you. She looked at the she looked at the library and found under the Dewey Decimal System, Jonathan yo, you're dating Numbers. Yourself. Yeah, actually, you're dating oh my god. <laughs> I don't even think the library actually practices that. They don't really? Oh no. I don't who goes to the library? I worked at a library. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Yeah, right, that's yeah. the stock. That's stock. <laughs> 170, even without the platform. Man, this is this boomer hour. God. <laughs> Me, Reven I'm the boomer. <laughs> references, <laughs> references that like we think are outdated is just like, nah. No. What, what are you doing? Hold that. <laughs> so, game three. I'm uh, I'm glad that Dill was able to establish. Oh. Oh. The, re the visible reaction. Can we get <laughs> Why would you play it's something like, uh, so ugly? You, you know that uh, that meme where like you have like the big speaker in front of the armchair and it's just blowing you back. <laughs> it was like, Dun! and Dill's like, huh? <laughs> she made him change song. Yeah. She made him change it oh, out. Oh, on that topic, you know what song got copyright uh, struck on our YouTube? What? Um, Megalovania. Really? Yeah. This is a great result for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Anti Sand Gamer right now. <laughs> Undertale was what came out ten years ago, guys. Get over it. What? What? I don't think it was actually ten years. I don't know how long Undertale is, uh. but it's it's old. We're we're Delta Room gamers now. I literally screenshotted the you know the the little warning thing, yeah. right? It's not like an actual strike, right? But uh. I, I messaged John. I was like, John, I have great news. 
No. <laughs> this song can no longer be played on stream. <laughs> Not even taking that risk. That's so uh, unfortunate. That, yeah. <laughs> Sh pour one out for all my uh, for all my Sans yeah. Undertale I fans. Ain't, I ain't trying to feed Toby. <laughs> <laughs> no, Toby's got Man. Toby's got him he's his make, fill. He's making yeah. that Pokemon money right now. He is. All right. I, I hate oh. I hate to do it, but back to the match. Yeah. <laughs> Low key. Ooh, that okay. could have been a back air. For whatever reason, those hula hoops are so hard to contest. It really are, like if you are not attacking Wii Fit's recovery from above with yeah. something like Rob Dare. Then, yeah, you're often than not eating a trade, and sometimes that's worse. Yeah, no, and sometimes you don't even get the trade. She just wins. Oh, true, right? She's just a winner. Yeah, the varying yeah. Uh, horizontality of the of the blue hoops going back and forth. Still, this huge stock. Me, this first stock means everything. Oh, but not surviving. Yeah, Rob, big boy. Big boy and great DI straight to the corner. Numbers taking advantage of the gyro into that frame. I think it's four. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Four. Frame four. Back air out of shield. Yeah. Instant. That, it's ridiculous. So good. It's honestly more behoovent to pressure we fit from the front. Yeah. Because her that, standing grab isn't great. It, no. It's one of the worst in the game. Like she nukes like, you. That's not a tether. Yeah. She nukes you. So like the big way I like to think of like playing against we fit is that most characters want to cross up. This is not the character you want to cross up. She actually has so many great hitboxes behind her, like at, like her tilts, yeah, tilts and the back air, forward air, back air. Yeah. That this is a character that if she's looking at you, you're you have Press to look at the her. button, Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> Launch the nukes <laughs> back air. <laughs> uh, help me. Plus, you can take like if you're getting John to already feel rewarded by hitting a rising aerial out of shield, even with as much discipline as both of these players have. That could be an opening where you're able to like land with something into a rising nair, into some, uh, into a follow through back air, something that allows you to catch John in mid air, which can be hard to do given we, uh, when we fit is under deep breathing, she does undertake the properties of a fast faller. I mean, yeah, no, makes a different, makes a difference. Makes it, it's like makes comboing her so difficult because she's not a fast faller before that. She's like more of a, like a midway character, and then. The combo rocks just changed suddenly. Yeah. Suddenly and uh, non-autonomously. But, oh, that's so big. 37%. And, and you lost a stock. And John visibly reacting in the player cam to it as well. A good up air to follow through, though. But, man, like, what a play coming out from Dill. Like, Definitely in this game more so than she was in the se given how the second sock was appearing, but John made that deep breathing count and yeah, is definitely. making it all come. Like, holy! That, like no shield now. Yeah, gyro in hand, not uh, not to mention th tossing it vertically to try and gain as much control as possible. A low shield, so that dash next shield pokes Yo, in the corner. I, I know John was winning those interactions, but why 138 <laughs> percent? What the? <laughs> it, it don't stop coming. Okay. Okay. Trying to pivot yeah. into a into a grab. The grab whiffed, but that backer out of shield. Press the button, Mr. President. As we said before. Yeah. What do you call back? It's a little callback. We do a little casting Bro out here. Broken. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tad. Still, like, look at how quick this is. Like down. T that's like a max range down tilt here. Like, look at this. Yeah. R rewind it. We're gonna we're gonna check it out. Uh, what is it? One couple frames. Like this is. This is a oh, whole, look like, it. a wide width away. Like, the space here is incredible. That's so... But... Well, you can do it. Oh, but. my God. <laughs> I'm using the other side. I'm like, okay. But, yeah, no. Yeah, that's and like then, low profile. Like, you would think you have, like, yeah. some sort of positional awareness okay. here. And like, then if we move it just to, like, a frame... Repositions back up, so standing right uh, back there up. There it is. Didn't commit to multiple. Like being a good player, right? It's like mm. I hit one down tilt. It's at its safest. Frame three minus five. You have to hold this max range button, and then I'll pivot away. I'll yeah. move back. I'll dash back. I'll yeah. hold shield or something like something but of the like. A, but a button was definitely pressed. It had to have been. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like or setting up for a gyro or double down tilt. Double, uh, but down tilt you would stay crouching, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're right. Yeah, so, so maybe a dash back or something. Yeah, so, it had. It was something. It was something that's not shield. Yeah. Something that's not shield. It's. <laughs> 
you're not shielding, and you're yeah. not pressing another down tilt. I wonder what she was trying to prep here, to which John just, like, pretty riskless. We, we were